So I uh, came across this engine, and I thought it was kind of interesting. Um, it looks like it has very, very little hours on it. Now, granted, the body was sitting out in the sun for, I don't know, forever. But the power it itself and all the internal parts, coils, wiring, everything, it's pretty immaculate condition. But the most interesting thing about it was the power trim unit right here. So this is a power tilt, not a power tilt and trim. If it was a power tilt and trim, it would have an additional cylinder inside of there, hydraulic cylinder. It's only got one, so it's just the uh, tilt. But still pretty interesting regardless. So in today's modern age, you go on the internet and look at forums and posts about this thing, and most people tell you that it doesn't work quickly or well. Now, the internet was launched in 91. In 77, they went to a different design than this. So at best, at absolute best, any discussion of these things were already 15 years old when it started appearing on the internet. So now you just see a bunch of hate about them. So I figured I would make this video and show you how they work, and then you can make that decision for yourself, should you be interested in buying an engine that has that type of yoke on it. So let's, uh, let's get started. I do have a power trim and tilt controller built into my bench, but it is not a three-wire. Uh, this old vintage guy uses a three-wire setup, which I didn't have, so I got this one. Um, basically just put a switch on the end of the uh, little relay box thingy here. I uh, just use wire nuts to connect the motor leads, you know, whatever, big deal, right? And then I put a, uh, a little uh, circuit breaker in between, so hit it, and it starts working. So I'll show you the engine now. So I will go up and down a few times and uh, we'll see if it gives us any issues. No, I've done absolutely nothing to this thing, no repairs at all. All I did was hook a power to it. This is pretty much as is after sitting for who knows how long. Would help if I went the right way. Now that, that did work perfectly fine in my opinion, so, I don't know. Um, now you could argue the use, I mean, if you look at the, the paint on this thing, the bolt heads, the spark plugs, the wiring, I mean, the, the red here isn't covered in grease. The starter, it looks pretty ugly and pretty much what you'd expect for this thing. But other than that, it's, it's incredibly clean. So perhaps it saw very little use and that's why it's still working that well. Or perhaps it worked a lot better when it was new, and I just don't, I don't know. But I don't know. So yeah, I think it's fine. But that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. I'm kind of a waste, I know, but you know, don't worry now, right? So I'll show you some more shots of the uh, unit, just so you know what it looks like. And if you got any questions about it, let me know. Well, I got no plans for this engine, so I'm going to uh, go, uh, I don't know, find a stand for it somewhere and just kind of let it sit until I need it someday or somebody wants it or, I don't know, something happens to it. 